Hey everybody, the rookie here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer. Just gonna go ahead and end that turn for the time being, as we had finished it last time. He's going to block my army, I assume. Yeah, he blocked my army. That's what I thought he was going to do. Aye. Not a big issue. Throw banners! Let's march! Move the throng! Moving that army up to reinforce. Let us begin! What do these guys have? More or less, what do these guys need? Aye. I want to start moving them up to intercept that Chaos Army if he comes through. Um, I think that's Hellfire Pass. I believe that's what that's called. So I believe... Yeah, he can go out. He can. I want to get some more For long beards. Of it is time. Put him in that one. Yep, perfect. My axe thirsts for war. There we go, that should round out that army. What? As the High King commands. There we go. We finally forced him into battle. Not a big army, I'm not even gonna bother. There. Onward. Friggin' chaos. Bugger off. Now I'm gonna start pulling that army back. Ready. Hold off on building things there till I get the whole province anyway. This is where my money needs to be spent to get Valea's Shadow or Valea Sorrow up to snuff. Rune of Swift Stride. Yeah, I'll use him just to kind of take a look, see what's around over there. Oh, actually, the... Oops, I want messages. Those sh savages. Where did they come out in? Right there. So they're close to our territory, but they shouldn't be too much of an issue for us. However... Summon me oh, I did you see did. you, Chaos. One rug. <laughs> uh, will be settled. Start pulling that guy back down. One rug! Alright! Wipe out the trespasses! And I'd bring them! March! Get out of here. What? Go on then. There we go. Put him in the city so he heals a bit faster. Another top knot army down. I think that was both of them. They had two really big stacks that I was worried about. And I think I just got rid of them both. Again, just going to work on our melee defense with Thogrim. 
and our engineer. Yeah, and just range for artillery. Yeah, those guys moved. Build a couple things in there. My axe thirsts for war. Shoulder axes, lads. We're moving. moving on out. We're going to go down and see if we can't take Def Gorge. I believe that's all I have to do for the time being. And we got a Chaos Army trying to push through there, but I got this army stationed and this one coming back to assist. No peace treaty. Talk then. No peace treaty. I don't care if the walls were damaged. Retake the realm. Gonna take about another turn to heal. Tempt me not. Time for a reckoning. Ready. That one gets us farther. Bugger off. Let us be about this. There we go. Plus three. Hmm. For the wisdom of Valaya. Moving. We're good for the time being. I'm going to save a little bit of money in case I need it for something. I think not. <laughs> Fine. Wonder if I can intercept them in the underway over here. That does put uh, Veranic Hills at risk. Where can he go otherwise? He can just siege Barak Var. Yeah. Ready. Sure enough. Move in. There we go. It is time. Put Barak or uh, Thogrim in Barakvar, just in case he decides to try and siege it. Now we kind of got him hemmed in. He's got to go either way and get move away from my territory a little bit more. I should probably get this. Yeah, that's more income. Talk then, but I make no. No. So that's going to be put on hold. We need to go back up. See if we can't cut off Ajag the Slaughterer. It is time. Forwards. 
Onward. By the crooks there is will. Aye. Aye. We will better our cause. Attack! So we do have a reinforcing army, so we completely outmatch them. Goodbye, sweet prince. And Thogrim can start pushing down, hopefully take out the top knots and put some pressure on the green skins. We're trying to make a resurgence over here. Can't have that happen. Upgrade that one. And I'll say, yeah, my Thane is ready for battle. Or ready to be deployed, not ready for battle. So I might lose a settlement. Yeah, I'm going to lose uh, probably a settlement to Ajag the Slaughterer. But I make no oath. Fuck her off. Oop. Didn't mean to hit that button. We're going to safeguard, we're going to hold corruption, I don't want it in my territories. Let us begin. Alright. We march. Crooked Fang Fort. Needs those. The throng is mustard. Send me to vengeance. Throw bearers. Let's march. Go on then. Let us be about this. My axe thirsts for war. Ooh. We can actually hit the uh, skull takers. Right after they uh, appear. Attack! Time to slay old breakers. Yes. Probably hurting my uh, diplomatic relations with Overland because I'm running amok in their territory without getting a. Access. Dwarfs. I hope we can. That's fine. An ad? I We're gonna leave them in that stance. Settled. So we should be able to take out stone stone mine tower here in a little bit next turn. We can start taxing Karak Asgal again. Make sure we're taxing everything else. I'm pretty sure we are. Yeah, we are. And we need some more technology. We go there. Reduce the uh, upkeep cost of our long beards. Will be nice. And there we go. We have just intercepted. Ooh, we got a new one. Vanguard deployment. I probably won't use it. But, eh, we'll drop it on a unit anyway. I think we're going to go ahead and fight this one out. Should be a little bit of fun. Uh, probably won't be too challenging. We got a fairly decent army going up against him. So, we get to kill some orcs and feel good about ourselves. So, I will see you on the battlefield. All right. So again, just going to be our standard deployment. Uh, it looks like it's one of those, it's that uh, crappy map with the big hole in the middle. So 
Though I don't think our cannons are going to be of much use this time around, but that's all right. I don't think they're going to come towards me. They're probably going to stay put. Yep. Because we are the aggressors. For the ancestors! It is an order! reposition these guys down here so they're not all good jumbled like that keep it neat keep it tidy and speed it up probably have our long beards in the middle. We'll rejig this once we get a, up here. The long beards to hold the center I think would probably be a better idea than have them on the flank on the one side. We might not get a chance to move it though. As the orcs might start charging down at us. Cannons are almost in place. And I do want these guys in the middle. Give our guys a chance to reposition themselves. our artillery to hit those guys if possible try and get their missile units dealt with here Not too worried about their cavalry. They're no match for our infantry. I 
Make sure our Lord is ready to intercept. Alright, we want to start knocking out their infantry. Let me get our Lord out there. Just some goobos, they shouldn't be too much of a problem. Start redirecting some of our arrow fire. Launch some of our units from the defensive position because these goblins are going down fast. Gunners out. Cannon's doing good work. See if we can't pound their uh, hero. Now we're going to try and get rid of their archers. gonna play it now. You see our cannon archer fire just raining death on theirs. And there we go. And that green skin army is dealt with. Now we can go back and try and take that settlement one more time. Just gonna let our archers finish up. They gain some experience. Not that they need it. There, we took out one of their heroes. There's a massacre. And they're out of range, so perfect. So 
Well, that battle is finished. We only lost 25 guys. Kill the captives. Flank secure. <coughs> Who is this guy? Huh. Oh, this is the, uh, the Skull Takers. Cool. We're just gonna go... Boink! Lost 65 and wiped them out. Get my axe. No peace trees. Ready. Okay. Shoulder axes. Go back to doing what we were doing before we were rudely interrupted by the green skins. Good. Grimnir's axe first. I declare war on them! Yes! Gives us another port. More money. Always welcome. This dude is ready again. Go ahead and give him the axe lord this time. On to glory for the ancestors. Move him back to heal up. <laughs> See, I want to put this guy in regular yes. stance. All right. Move. Next turn, we're going to see if we can't hop up here and retake uh, Karak Dramar. Oh, we never did take Misty Mountain, or did they take it back? I don't remember. Oh, the... Hmm. Maybe they have an army sitting back there. I have to go check that out. I thought we took Misty Mountain already. I will have to go check it out. And Thogrim is almost level 30. He still doesn't have any of his legendary items. I really have to get on that. Some more melee attack. Your engineer here. Sundrim, the linchpin. Last one for range for artillery. Now Thulgrim can start knocking on the door over here. Well, you know what? I should bring this guy down, I think. Hmm. <laughs> now we got this army. I'm going to send Thulgrim back and... Uh, put two gyrocopters into his army. Uh, finish that part of our legendary quest. Take them out. Get my other guys back. And then we can go fight one more battle and we get the uh, Axe of Grongni, I think it was. Yeah, or Grimnir. The Axe of Grimnir. My apologies. Where's our rune smith? Where are you, buddy? Send me to vengeance. Right. Done. 
for a reckoning. Beards in belts. Okay, where did our runesmith come back at? I'm just blind. I have the fog tires glowing. What? I won't put my name as attachments. For the wisdom of the So I actually think I'm gonna hang off. Going to fight the undead for now. For some reason I had slowed it down again. Not what I wanted to do. Throw bearers! Let's march! Alright, setting everybody up. So Thogrim should be able to hop over here and get in front of Ekrund. Well, uh, Joseph the Orc Bane comes down and takes out Bitterstone Vine. And we just continue our push towards Misty Mountain. What does Black Iron Mine need? Nothing really. I guess that. There we go. And I think we're done for now. Just gonna check diplomacy here really quick. No new trade partners. These guys still won't trade with me, but that's fine. The border princes are my allies. Carrick Norn. Aye. Let's hear a non aggression pack. Nice. Can't trade with them, but a non aggression pact is nice. That way from another hold they would confederate, probably, with maybe a little bribe. Aye. Let's see. And they definitely would, say. but I'm not in a spot to assist. I would probably confederate and then they would lose this settlement over here. So we'll leave it for now. Once we start to actually push north, we will confederate. Gain some more territory. It will be nice. But anyway, uh, this episode has been going on for long enough, so I'm going to end it right here. Uh, so thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one.